Sir, yeah. for how long you've been living in this house here? Well, I had another house at the park, uh, probably since 84. 84, I lived in this house. We had another house and it burnt. I've been right here for 65 years. I think today is a highlight. Today I got to meet people I had not met before. Got to see some people I did know. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, every day is a highlight. Um, the worst day of my life on Route 66 was fabulous. I have never had a bad day. Some bad weather sometimes, but never a bad day. Považuji za takový trošku divoký, protože jste unavení po cestě a tak dále, tak to neplánujeme moc. Ale od zítřka by řekl nám začíná ta pohodová klidná cesta po Rucích z Tysic. Já se vždycky snažím tomu Šikádu co nejrychleji vyhnout nebo splnit co nejvíce, nejrychleji to jde, protože cíl naší cesty je stejně spíš ten venkov a ta, a ta cesta jako taková. Já motorka, tak já motorkář. Jako takový, spíš víkendový, ale to dnes se mě nadchlo a víceméně proto jsem se chtěl absorbovat s tím, že to projedu. Akorát, že už dva dny jsme nespali. A děkuji. 
Jo, byl to záhu, časový posun, počasí, stresy, americký celníci, úžasný, no. Vytra bude líp. That was pretty, uh, we, we... It was like February, right? Yeah. First half. Pretty, uh... What do you convention. Check? Czech convention. We spent 13 days in the Czech Republic, in, in Germany, Poland, Vienna, and, uh, Slovakia. Yeah, Marty, it's a special Hawks crew from Mercedes Club. Mercedes. Mercedes Club. Mercedes. Uh, it's from, it's only five pieces made. Yeah. 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 From 1964 and that's when I drove from Michigan to California on Route 66. Of course that was the only way to, to get out here in those days. And uh, then many years went by and I was not involved at all with Route 66. And then back in 94 my wife and I had an opportunity to drive from Detroit to uh, Los Angeles, to our home. We started out with the intention of driving down Route 66 because I had fond memories of my times back in the 60s on it. And she had traveled it with her family during World War II. Well, we couldn't find it. Finally, I pulled into a truck stop outside of Chicago and I said, you know, this has got to be like the Twilight Zone, but the most famous road in the world, I, and, I, and I can't find it. Well, the fellow said, yes, that's because it's uh, no longer a commissioned federal highway. I s said, well, is there anything left of the road at all? And he said, oh yeah. So he sold me some maps of the road, and we started following it, and it was just heart-wrenching because many, many businesses had folded up. Some of those that we stopped at were talking about folding up, and in fact, entire towns had folded up. And after two to three years, we got a bill passed to uh, allocate funds for in the form of grants for people who owned property along Route 66. And that's still going on today. And that kind of began the our federation, National Route 66 Federation. I was born and raised on, on 66 in Wilmington, which we were in, town we were in a while back. Grew up there, went through high school there and graduated. And that's when I left. Back then, old 66 was busy. We had an ammunition plant outside of town. That employed a lot of people that drove the mother road, what they call them now. I do more on 66 now than I did when I lived on it. Travel more, meet more people. 
A lot of stories. Most of the old road is, is still out here. And some of it you have to, you know, look for and find it. Some of it is covered up by the interstates. A lot of the old restaurants are still there. They're still working. One thing on a motorcycle, when you travel on a motorcycle and you stop for gas or stop at a restaurant, you always have people coming over and, and visiting with you, asking you questions, where are you from, where are you going? And you meet a lot of interesting people that way. There's people that we've met on the motorcycle 20 years ago that we're still in contact with. Christmas cards or emails or something. Find out how they're doing or where they're going and can we meet up with them someplace along the line. All from Illinois to California, hey. From Illinois to California, hey. We got a red hot music on Main Street, USA. We got a red hot music on Main Street, USA. Route 66 is Main Street, USA. We got 26 heads that want to see your stuff. <laughs> this is Cam. Cam. His name is Cam. Nice to meet you. Very, very little English here, Cam. Nice to meet you. We got about three people with English. And you know Zendik. Uh, did we stop you from doing something? Yeah, I was just going to run out and get my wife something. I didn't know you were coming. Trošičku, jo, pršelo tam pivo, ale máme nadcené bumby, takže je to dobrý, je to na mokrý jsme ideální stát. Byl tam a sluníčko teda svítí, ale nestěžují si, pohoda. A dokud nebudu mít pocit plný boty, tak je to dobrý. To vypadá na ty červené, to mám dírky, víš? Tak mi to nevyčítla, ale... To je ten bon, to mám, to patří k tomu, ne? Tak, o to jsme se měli. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't lying She sent me home Now I'm all alone Come on. And I think for me A lot of it is it's, it's a different way of life It's a change of pace My personal life I work multiple jobs My life has always been very chaotic And I've been very involved In a lot of things at once And when you get on Route 66 Roadies say life begins at the off ramp And it really does When you get on Route 66 you find that things move at a slower pace and that people are friendly and things move slower and you have time to stop and breathe. It's not all about the internet and instantaneous knowledge. America is very big, like that. Good. It was a good day. It was a good day. Today, it was just a good day. Kolem těch 15 stupňů, takže se to dalo jet, ale místy nebylo ani vidět. No, po dnešku si myslím, že máme hodně dlouhou těžkou cestu před sebou. Dneska jsem to píchl do škarpy, ale dobře to dopadlo. Takže jako, 
To bolí mě kameramani, jo, režisér, kameraman. A ještě jeden mě pomohl, abych to vytáhl z té škarpy ven. Takže jako tak. Motorka se neodřela, padáky zůstaly zdraví. Ne, kdyby si tady byl sám za sebe, tak takhle počasí nejedeš. No to bych stál pod mostem, to je jasný. No, nebo se ubytuješ někde v nějakém jiném hotelu, že? Hmm. Pod mostem bych čekal, nebo benzínce, no. A tak jsou, tak jsme si to užili, ne? No. Nic nevidíš, jedeš podle čáry a podle světa před sebou. Luxusní. Dneska večer zapijeme to, to dobrý říct. dojezd a budeme spát. Připravit se na další pokračování. No jistě. Jistě. Jestli to nepřežene někdo. Jo? Mm. Ne. Počas se to pokazilo určitě. A já určitě by som doma nenajazdil 100 km v takomto počasí, jako jsem najazdil tu. Já robím ročně okolo 15 až 20 tisíc na motorke, ale v takomto počasí by som doma neurobil. Ani by som motorku nevyťahol. Ani v jednom. Ani v tom veternom, ani v studenom, ani v tom príliš horkom. Zkrátka, možno som už taký zvičkaný motorkár, že si vyberám počasí, ale tu nemáš kde uhnúť. Tu ideš, máš cieľ, máš itinerár, máš časový rozbeh, musíš ísť. To je možno na tomto zaujímavejšie, že tu nemáš kde odložiť cestu alebo sa schovať. Niečo podobné. My grandfather was born in Slovakia, so um, we're very proud to have you here today. Um, and so this is where you in Europe have thousand, two thousand year old buildings and castles. We in the United States have little 100 year old buildings that we have restored. This Texaco gas pump would be from like the 1930s, 1940s. As you can see a gallon of gas, they have listed as 33 cents. So. Um, Inside there are three or four other varieties of pumps. This would not be an original from 1926 when the road was built, but this would be like the 1940s gas pump. the museum here uh, we had a few exhibits brought in and then it started to really grow and we had lots of exhibits brought in uh, behind me is a group of license plates that represent every year from 1911 to 1984 in Illinois you have to have a new license plate every year okay that's how the state makes some of their money uh, you'll notice most of the years the license plates are all made of metal but when you get in the 1940s, there's about four years where they were made of soybean material because there was no metals available because if you remember, that's the year we were in the war. Everybody wants an apology from you
It's not a road for tourists. It's a road for travelers. It's a road for people who shun the predictable. There's nothing predictable about a road trip. You know, William Blake, the great English poet, wrote long, long ago that roads of improvement are straight roads. But the crooked roads, the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. Route 66 is such a road. It's a road of genius. I mean, you know, we knew we were on 66, but 66 isn't what 66 is today. We grew up for the movie 60, Route 66 was on, so we knew about it, but we didn't grow up in this area. We're from Iowa originally. Anyhow, about 1990 is when Route 66 came back. And of course, you know, we met started meeting people who were, I called them roadies. They traveled the road. They were interested in the road, finding out where the old road alignments and stuff like that was. Bob would get very upset with me because many night I sat up talking to somebody at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. But, you know, this is how I learned about the road, too, you know. I don't know how we got famous, except we, we survived. Munger Moss survived. Right here where we built this house, we've seen seven cars go off here one time. We have been here probably longer than anyone up and down the road. And Jerry has been here for like 65 years. The same place. Dobré přísloví, myslím si, že to vystihuje princip té cesty a to je to, že život je cesta. A ta cesta je účelem mý návštěvy Spojených států amerických, jelikož cíl není důležitý, důležitý je ta cesta a ta to vystihuje. I'm Don Neal. My wife and I, Annetta, own Stable Ridge Winery in Stroud, Oklahoma. We're right on Route 66 in the middle of Oklahoma on Route 66. We planted grapes in Oklahoma in 1999. After a major tornado, we bought this land, cleaned it up, and planted grapes. We're growing the Merlot, the Chardonnay, the Cabernet, the Zinfandel, the Muscat, the Pinot Grigios, that they grow, the same grapes that they grow in Europe. Je to zajímavá cesta svou historií a není to jenom silnice samozřejmě, je to hromada veliká, hromada zážitků, kde člověk poznává nejen ty lidi v té Americe a jejich minulou a současnou práci a jejich život, ale pozná taky vlastně lidi, kteří s ním cestují, protože my vždycky říkáme, že lidi, kteří se přihlásí na takovýhle přejezd Ameriky, což je e, sice finančně velice výhodný, ale stejně nějakou náročnost to představuje. To znamená, že e, to jsou takové naše zpříznění duše, ty, co s náma cestují, a o tom to vlastně taky. Je tu veľa vecí, ktoré, ktoré nechajú vo mne teda akože ozaj spať zažitky.
We want to present to the Czech Route 66 Association this so Illinois 66 sign so with a note on the back. So it's what we should have to České Route 66 Association. Yeah, I'll read, I'll read it off. It says, best wishes to the Route 66 Association of the Czech Republic, Henry's Rabbit Ranch, where the legacy of Montana pops on. My history with Route 66 pride goes back to the day I was almost born. I grew up on 66 over in Missouri, about a mile and a half from the Chain of Rocks Bridge. So then in uh, 95 is when we really started getting big into this. And uh, we've had a Volkswagen Rabbits ever since 1982. So they came before the Bunny Rabbits. But in 99, our youngest daughter, when she was 20, got one for Easter. And two weeks later, she got a second one for companionship. They were both supposed to be females. Well, one was and the other was a male. So three weeks later, along comes the first litter, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. So I ended up taking care of the bunnies and never took care of one before. And then eventually, uh, after learning a little bit more about bunnies, uh, we ended up with a high number one time in 49. And we've even had one rep that became a 66 icon by the name of Montana, who used to sit on the counter greeting people. And uh, two years ago, she was running for president with the rest of them. But unfortunately, one of her campaign uh, reasonings was she was old like McCain, and it did catch up with her before the uh, election uh, came in. Otherwise, history might have had uh, the first black female bunny in the Oval Office instead of uh, Mr. Obama. <laughs> V začátku 20. století se jednalo o tom, že se má vytvořit nějaká komunikace, která by spojovalo, spojovala Chicago a Los Angeles. A právě Oklahoma z uh, Oklahomského ministerstva se zasloužil o to, aby se vytvořila Route 66. A jeden z inženýrů, z hlavní, je ten hlavní inženýr z ministerstva, uh, jí dal jméno. Takže bylo to 66, 66. Uh, bylo teda díky Oklahomě. Takže a i máme i nejvíc těch originálních mílí, máme nejvíc mílí jako ze všech z těch států. Všude pěkný. Hlavně ty poslední etapy, že bylo to sluníčko a teplo a prostě ta jízda, ta volná silnice a nádhera. Takže domov rudého muže. 
A ti vlastně ti původní indiáni byli opravdu jako lovci, ty se vůbec nezabývali zemědělstvím nebo tak, že byli se v podstatě s, s bizony. Man, all the way over here from the Czech Republic, the Slovak Republic, man, they come to Erie, Oklahoma, the redneck capital of the world. Hey, would you believe where you can see rednecks <laughs> working, playing their own environment? It's Sand Hills, boys, at the world class, world famous Sand Hills Curiosity Shop, the only bus stop in town. God almighty. Hey, look at the good looking baby boy here. He's so pretty. I don't know if I like him or her the best. God almighty, welcome to America, baby. I tell you for sure. Well, we love you guys. Welcome. Look what we got here. We got the wild man Zed Jurassic here today. Man, and we're gonna make sure he gets his bobs, kicks, grind tricks, dicks, and big pricks on 66. Oh, you good looking dude. God almighty. I tell you for sure, hey, he's my kind of man. For sure. Hey, Grandpa. Welcome. Welcome to America, Grandpa. I know. We're going to run these dad gum crazy dudes in here. Let's go. Oh man, I just love getting high on myself. God, it don't get no better than this. Come on in, you got that perverts. Come on. <laughs> That'll take care of them. We've got them locked in right here at the Dead Gum Sand Hills Curiosity Shop. Hell, they're never gonna get back to the Czech Republic and back to Slovak. Hell, they're our Dead Gum slaves, and they're gonna love every bit of it. <laughs> Toniku v aute, ja som sa viedla v podstate, keď pršalo, tak ja som sa vozila v aute, bo som nemala teda to oblečenie a sme super partia boli aj v tom aute, Jaroslav a ja neviem, šest, všetky, ako všetci, fakt super.
many people uh, saw that it was a, a wonderful, interesting, and, and sometimes exciting trip to take to see America. It goes right through the heartland of America. So with the, the, the mystique of the stories and the songs and uh, the uh, scenery, it just is the road to see when you're, you're coming to America. There's no question about it. And today it fulfills its, this, the dreams. Started out with nothing back in Memphis, Tennessee And that's just how I left it, said the girl that married me And I have done my hard time here and nothing changes that Well, I'm through with being fooled and that's a simple fact I don't lie, damn this slow train Danger is nothing, is no stranger to me Talk about your hard luck, I find it naturally And trouble seems to have memorized the path right to my door She is such a friend of mine, she don't knock anymore I don't lie, damn this slow train When you see the movie Cars, uh, every car character, every scene, every set Every building, every edifice in that movie comes from life, comes from the road. And I took them out on the road, the creative team. Uh, these are animators and writers and producers and directors, and we covered the road. Those car characters are composites of different people who actually exist. When the first movie opened, business on Route 66 went up 30%. Because what we've done is turn on a whole new generation of kids uh, and others from around the world who have seen that movie and are now coming back to enjoy it and to hopefully meet those characters, to hopefully find their own Radiator Springs. I'm one of the four women. How you doing? Hello. Hi, <laughs> now this is our place. Uh, the other three ladies, or other two ladies, will be coming down to meet you too. Yeah, I'm Dean Crazy Legs Walker. Inspiration for Maynard and the Movie Cars by Michael Wallace on Route 66. They call me Crazy Legs and turn both feet completely around backwards like that. I'll give you a full one in a minute. I also like to meet the tourists on Route 66. Explain what's it like going out west. Hi. When I get a tourist in here, I really rattle off. <laughs> we usually walk around, we usually give him a piece of paper and a pencil because he tells everybody so much of what to see, where to go, how to turn, stop and talk to this person, stop and talk to that person. Half the time he scares them off because they can't remember everything. But this is Dean, and of course you found out that he knows how to turn his feet around. And this is four women on the route. This is Miss Judy Courtney, she's one of the partners. Hi. I'm Melba, I'm, with, I'm the one they call the mouth. So every time you come through here, I'm the one that talks too much. And then you've met my little redheaded sister, she's behind the thing right there. There's four of us, there's Miss Betty Courtney, Miss Judy Courtney, Melba Rigg, that's me. We also have a small diner in here that we set up. We have uh, what's called the Route 66 hamburger, which is 6.6 .6 ounces of meat on it. And we have a world famous Reuben sandwich. So we do that too. So welcome to, to Route Women, 66 yeah. and four Thank women you. on the route. Thank, Thank you. you. Drinks in this cooler right here. Okay. There's coffee right over there. Oh, thank Have you, you guys had lunch yet? Uh, yes, we, we just uh, we just had the breakfast. On the day he came into the world, it makes him feel like Richard Gere. My gas station, it's Gay Parita Gas Station. Uh, it was made in 1930 and it burnt down in 1955. It was made by Gay Mason and Fred Mason. This gas station is a hobby. It's, Gay Parita is a dream. It's, 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 it's a wonderful thing for me. It's a, 
a piece of history. It's a place where that that uh, I meet wonderful people from all over the world. Uh, it's wonderful to have my friends here from Czech Republic. It's it's wonderful to have them here. Takhle ně, někteří lidi tady měli problém, že jsme se zastavovali na třech benzinkách denně. Jeli jsme na Road 66, proto jsme se zastavovali na třech benzinkách denně, čtyři, na čtyřech benzinkách. Tak si představuju Road 66, že tak Road 66 naprosto patří. A to, že jsme se tam stavili, některé benzinky, výstava starých aut od 40. let do 60. let, nádherně zrenovovaných, ti lidi, kteří se o to starají, určitě jako čestým. My name's Crocodile Lyle, and I live in Amarillo, Texas. I have an art gallery just a few blocks south of Route 66. I've been involved in Route 66 since 1996, when I wrote it with Harley Owners Group and Michael Wallace from Chicago to L.A. The bug, the bug hit me, and the hook suck in deep, and I'm I'm really enamored with Route 66. A lot of wonderful people. Uh, I get to meet tour groups from all over the world, uh, take them down through 6th Avenue on Route 66, which is the old historic district called the San, San Jacinto Historic District in Amarillo. A lot of neat nightclubs and restaurants and live music, and it's, it's old 66, about like it was back in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Amarillo has a lot to offer the Route 66 traveler. Unfortunately, most people don't see it. Most people see the Cadillac Ranch and the Big Texan, and they miss what Route 66 is in Amarillo. And uh, hopefully I can change that. Uh, you can feel it in your heart, Jelo se skvěle úplně. Byl tam strašný vítr. Pojď se podívat teda k nám. Tak tadyhle žijeme jako prasáte. Nádherně styl, krásnej TV. Naladíme si novou primu, podíváme se, co dělá naše vláda. A pojede se nám snáš domů, že tu hodně. Je, do koukou lidi nepustím, tam můj kolega. Na hamba to. Čau, čau. Aj, aj. Už je to vyzlečené. Nech si je noc, ale? Pozri, aký som. Indian Joe. Pekný červený. Málo, je to výzem, nie?
The Big Texan was opened in 1960 on Route 66 by my father, which is 50 years ago today. And he was from the north, and he wanted to see what Route 66 and the Texas Cowboys was really all about. So when he came to Texas, his vision was to have a restaurant that had cowboys, that had horses, that had big steaks. And a lot of the magic of the Big Texan comes from Route 66 because the people going from the east coast of America to the west coast would come through this part of Texas. And when they come through this part of Texas, they wanted to see cowboys. And that's what my dad gave them was cowboy, cowboy, cowboy. Well, it's, it's the big challenge. It's what everybody knows about when the Amarillo, Texas, all over the world, about the free 72-ounce steak. If you can eat it in one hour, you get it free. And it comes with a baked potato, shrimp cocktail, roll butter, and a tossed salad. Every day of the year here at the Big Texan, we have about three people that'll sit down and attempt to eat the 72-ounce steak. And what's so funny is, it doesn't matter if they're big, if they're little, whoever sits down to eat a steak here, I never say anything till about 20 minutes. Because out of three people every day, six people, six people will try it in two days, one person will eat it out of six. Dětský splněný sen. U mě je to taky tak, protože trošku tímhle stylem života v Čechách žiju, takže je to takový sen, který se naplnil. De facto splnilo to na 100% vlastně moje očekávání s tím, že, s tím, že vlastně jsme si za těch 16 dnů, kdy jsme projeli Road 66 z Chicago do LA a dohromady jsme najeli asi třeba půl tisíce mailí, jsme si prošli takovým motorkářským peklem i nebem, protože jsme vlastně minuli tornádo velký, který zmařil desítky životů a my jsme ho projeli kousek vedle, ve tmě, v dešti, přes který vůbec nebylo vidět. Prošli jsme si sněhovou bouří, která tady taky není obvyklá. Prošli jsme si horkama velkých pustin, obrovský pláně. Myslím si, že to jsou zážitky a věmy za těch 16 dnů s takovou perfektní partou lidí, který se těžko získávají. jako 4000 km dlouhou cestu s jejimi obyvateli a s jejimi přírodou a zvláštnostmi. Na té cestě je pořád co objevovat, když to když jedete na 14, dovol... 14 denní dovolenou v Evropě, tak prostě ležíte na té pláži a opalujete se každý rok stejně, ale tady je to jinak.
name is Armand Ortega, and I own the hotel, the El Rancho Hotel. Just sitting on top of the world. And the movie stars came in from the years of uh, 1938 to 1960, 1960, to make movies on the reservation. The, they always brought in 40 or 50 movie stars, the big movie stars and, and uh, the lesser ones, but uh, that rode in the cavalry. You know, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta, and they went to fight the Indians out here in the reservation. And uh, that's, most of them were made by a director of the name of Ford. And most of the movies. And of course, John Wayne, uh, Ronald Reagan, and hundreds of the big stars stayed here. Ronald Reagan stayed here seven or eight different times, two months at a time. He was always a lieutenant in the army. He never got to be a captain. He, uh, at the end, he got to be ahead of all the, uh, all of them, <laughs> as president of the United States. If you ever plan to motor west, take my way, take the highway that is best. Get your kicks on Route 66. Well, it winds from Chicago to L.A. More than 2,000 miles along the way. Get your kicks on Route 66. You go through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri, Oklahoma City looks mighty pretty. You'll see Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico. Flags of Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Barstow, San Bernardino. If you would get hip to my timely tip, when you take your California trip, get your kicks on Route 66, get your kicks on Route 66, get your kicks on Route 66, get your kicks on 66. Musím ti k tomu něco říkat. Mám pro tebe název filmu, buď Alive, alebo Česky přežili jsme. Snížek bílý, pole sílí. A v našem případě to není problém. Kupí na zdraví. Rolničky, rolničky. <laughs> My s tou hrabe už. Kdo pak vám dá hlas? Kašpárek, maličky, je podě na mraz. Rovničky, rovničky. Jako rokovou verzi, ale ta fotosku zase je. Ale jak je vidět, v Americe je možné všechno. Padá sníček bělušky, na pole a i na lůčky. To se nám ho na Motorky neznamenají vůbec nic. Na motorce jsem měl naježděný možná 300 km a vyrazil jsem. Strach na tom, že pojedu 400 km, na motorce jsem neměl a taky se nic naštěstí nestalo dramatického. But now there's holes in the roof and weeds by the door. The building's still there, but they don't see no travelers no more. I guess they used to grow cotton on these tired old farms. Fill their wagons time and again with their weary. 
my name is Frank Yellowhorse, and I'm a, a Navajo Indian. And this is part of our reservation. We're the largest tribe of all Indian tribes. And our reservation goes into three states. How big, that's how big it is. I was raised on Old Highway 66. My grandpa opened these stores way back up in the early 30s. Way back in the early 30s when it was just an old gravel road. We started way down by the Painted Desert. And I was raised on the Navajo Nation, and I speak fluent Navajo. Uh, Cowboy rides for one last time He wipes the teardrops from his eyes He looks around and wonders why Well, is it worth the time to try? Just trying to be free But it will never ever be The wheel of time rolls along you see And in the end we just can't believe To bylo zaradené mezi návrhy na divy světa. Každý nevidím toho Toma Hanksového, jak tady... Ne, to byl jiný, to byl Hanks. Cruise, jak tady jde ho role a dostal bojový úkol. Já myslím, že je tady vždycky co obdivovat, zase jiný počasí, je to s tím sněhem takový trošičku mimořádný. Já bych tady přežil, ale vůbec bych tady, já bych, jakoby, já bych zapadnul mezi ně, ale nejinak bych tady nebyla ani Krista. Češi jsou tady nějaký, až tady v monumentu, je to možné? To, to, a to jsou Slováci, ne? No, to jsme se sešli v Americe, to je to možný. Vlastně jedeme ještě do, do Arches, potom Brace Canyon, Zion. Kluci z Koreje, když Korejci jsou tady. Na beru jedna. No, tamhle. Tamhle, kluci jsme. Tady bílej černos. Ej, to se neviděl. Tam se si švinkni. Švinkni ho tam do metrdu. Švinkni se. To je jedno. Švinky. If we go any place, we always go on a two-lane highway, and we always prefer to stay on 66. We go out west just about every fall, and uh, one of the favorite places we have when uh, we get out west is Oatman, Arizona. It's a it's a little mining town, and uh, it was, but it's a kind of a tourist trap today. But it's kind of neat. You walk down the street. It's dirt, and you got burrow dung 
on the streets because the burros come down out of the mountains and uh, they have a show there that uh, at noon it's a kind of a western theme they uh, hold up a stage and then they have a shootout and as soon as that's over with so I hear the burros they go back up in the mountains again it's got a real neat uh, hotel I can't remember uh, Clark Gable, Gable and Greta Garbo Greta Garbo spent their honeymoon there they was movie stars from Hollywood. One time we was there, there uh, it's a hotel, but there's also a, like a bar there where you can order food. And this one time there was a young lady in there, she was playing honky-tonk music on, a, on an old teddy piano. It's just kind of, just old-fashioned. It's real laid back. Nejkrásnější je Arizona. Jeďte všichni do Arizony. Vynikající. Pěkné, příjemné, dobré ceny. Mně se líbilo to, že jsem prožil vlastně čtyřiroční období tady na té cestě. A jak, jak zimu, tak jaro, no a teď už ke konci i léto, takže to se mi na tom líbilo jako celkově. Tak člověka to zarazí, když, když, když jede územím, kde by mělo být 25 nad nulou a je tam skoro nula a sněží. To, to tě zarazí, ale jako motorkáři tě to ne, nemůže překvapit, že to... Jsem si splnil klukovský sen a před mým motorku, pak mý hrlé teda, v těch 90. letech, no a vyvrcholení mě ta Route 66. Actually, what made us famous was the railroad originally, and then Route 66 came through town, and then when Route 66 somewhat died, we had a young man by the name of Jackson Brown that came through town. He actually stopped here in this drug, this used to be a drugstore, he stopped in here and started writing a song about Winslow. And he finished the song a few years later with Glenn Fry of the Eagles, the song called Take It Easy and we became famous for standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. But I never thought that I would be running a cafe on Route 66. I came out of L.A. for 26 years, and then it was my husband's time to do what he wanted, so we came out here and bought uh, 640 acres to raise ostriches, and I was going to write. And we stopped here to get something to eat, and the lady said, oh, I'm selling it. And my husband looked at me and says, don't even think about it. That's what I told him. So sure enough, we went home to my son, and my son said, Mom, I ha we have to have the Baghdad Cafe. I have since written a script called The Real Baghdad Cafe. It's based on the colorful lady that owns the Baghdad Cafe, who recently lost her husband and son, and she credits the Baghdad Cafe and people from all over the world with keeping her alive after losing her life.
I actually, the store closed down in 1978 when I-40 opened up. This whole store just closed up one night and it was gone. There was no traffic, it was dead. So it just sat empty for many, many years. And in 1998, I drove by and found the store and bought it for my Bob Waldemeyer who lived in the store. And all the stuff you see outside and inside is stuff that I've collected from the 70s, 80s, and 90s driving Route 66. You know, Route 66 was just a big part of my life. It was a good time. United States dedicated U.S. 66 from Chicago, Illinois to Santa Monica, December of 1926. When they finished building the freeways in 84, the, our United States government said in October of 1985, the end of an era, they brought the signs down, <clears throat> Route 66 signs down, they had a big celebration in Williams, the end of Route 66. I said, baloney. It's still here. So when we called that meeting and formed the association and we asked the state to make it historic, the state just sort of says, ha, 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 who are you? I says, we will stay with it. We will make it happen. We will not give up. We stayed after the state officials and they finally made it historic December of 1987, the same year. So in doing that, Seligman, this little town of five and a, five, six hundred people, this little town is now known for being the birthplace, the resurrection of historic U.S. 66. This is what this little town is known for, the little town where Route 66 got its rebirth. sám. E, myslím sám, ako jazdiť bez manželky, nie ako dovolenku. Oslovil som môjho priateľa s tým, že ten si zase dal podmienku, že pôjde, len keď pôjde jeho manželka. Tak sme to nejako dali dokopy a urobili sme z toho motocyklovú jazdu plus e, taký výlet pre manželky, lebo naše manželky nie sú motorkárky, oni moc na mene jazdia. Ja zas mám svoju ženu už dlho pri sebe, ja nie, 30 36, rokov. 36 rokov a dobre by bolo aj samému, ale ja som rád, keď je so mnou a sme spolu. No. Líbilo sa mi to od prvních dnů, kdy sme sa vracali na motel, durch mokří, vyzmrzli, líbilo sa mi to opravdu, každý den som si užíval. Byl to můj sen, sen se splnil, no ale v každém případě by se rád vrátil. Sice nevím, jak to bude možné ze zdravotních důvodů, ale určitě, určitě. Na to, že jede 25 lidí, 25 individuálí, tak si myslím, že všechno proběhlo naprosto v pořádku. Každý má své názory, každý si hlídal to svoje. Chtěl bych tímto poděkovat Zdenkovi za dobrou organizaci tady tohoto výletu. 
jak to řekl, jak zpívá Louis Armstrong v písnice Wonderful World, tak toto bylo Wonderful World. see it in all seasons and you want and because people and places that you see today um, um, you may not see them on the next trips and so so when somebody asked me that question you know how long should they plan uh, well it depends you can go out for a day if you can but a lifetime and it still isn't enough and go take that California trip get your kicks on route 66 Get your kicks on Route 66. Bye bye. Where'd you go, my little Lamori, with your sad Cleopatra eyes? I wish that had. Happiness would melt your strife I looked for you in Campo di Fiore And know that it's your favorite place Ordinary people going about their day You'd come back from tomorrow Lie down and rest your head We'll sweep those crazy notions From underneath the bed See the stars up through the skylight They're gonna light your way There's all this love for you So don't ever be afraid You're black and blue Is up, which is down You black and blue Like you've been stoned Caught in a crossfire all alone Nothing comes easy We have to fight